State law requires ASRS employers to pay alternate contributions on behalf of ASRS retirees who return to work in any capacity in a position ordinarily filled by a direct employee of that ASRS employer. This includes retirees who return to work in a position that is similar in duties and responsibilities to that of a position ordinarily filled by a direct employee. The 2020 criteria used to define membership eligibility are irrelevant for determining whether ACR is due. As an alternate rate, ACR should not be paid when a retiree suspends retirement because in that situation, active contributions are paid. Unlike active member contributions, which are paid by both members and employers and entitle the member to benefits, alternate contributions are an employer-only cost. Arizona Administrative Code states that employers shall remit alternate contributions directly from employer funds and prohibits employers from deducting the amount of alternate contributions owed from the employee's compensation. This video tutorial will walk you through the process of reporting alternate contributions to the ASRS through the ACR application on the Secure Employer website. In order to access this application, employer users must have the Maintain ACR role, which can be assigned by an employer administrator through the Maintain Employer Users page. The process to report ACR is straightforward. Begin with selection of the pay period end date and follow through to uploading the data for that pay period to schedule the payment. Today I will cover reporting alternate contributions, reviewing alternate contribution reports, and ACH account profiles. You can follow along in that order or skip directly to any topic you want by advancing the video to the time listed by the subject you want. To begin the process of submitting ACR, visit the ASRS website at www.azasrs.gov and click on the Employers tab at the top of the page. Click on Secure Employer Login. On the Employer Login and Registration page, type in your login ID and password. Click Login. From the Employer Home page, select Start ACR on the left navigation menu under Contribution Reporting, Alternate Contribution Process. Enter the Pay Period End, or PPE, date for the ACR you are reporting. Click Next. On the File Upload page, you will see your PPE date and reporting unit number. Click the button to choose the ACR file you want to upload for this pay period. If you have never created an ACR file before, click the link to download the template. There is a PDF guide with detailed descriptions of the formatting requirements. After selecting the CSV file, click Next to proceed. If there are any errors in the data file you uploaded, they will be listed and must be corrected before proceeding. After correcting any errors in your data file, click to browse or select your revised CSV file and click Next. On the File Upload Results page, the successfully uploaded data will display in a table for your review. After reviewing the data, click Next at the bottom of the page. The Alternate Contribution Rate Summary Report, or ACRSR, summarizes the alternate contributions for the pay period. The table breaks out alternate contributions by the return to work or RTW type. The three types of RTW employees are direct hires, leased employees, and independent contractors. Review the information and click Next. On the Make ACH Payment screen, review the ACR summary report information. In the Payment Information section, review the account to debit and select the account if necessary. Enter the requested deposit date. If your requested deposit date is more than 14 calendar days later than your PPE date, late charges will be added to the amount due. You will see this amount appear in red after you enter the requested deposit date and click to the next screen. 
Enter any comments you have for ASRS staff regarding this ACR submission. Click Next. The Authorize ACH Payment screen is the final step in remitting ACR for the pay period. Review the ACR summary report information and payment information. The total will include late charges if there are any. If the information is accurate, check the box to authorize the payment. Then click the Authorize Payment button to complete the process. Following authorization, you will see a receipt page which acknowledges the submission of your payment. If the payment is scheduled for a future date, the confirmation number will not be available until after your payment has debited. You may review past or current alternate contribution summaries by clicking on ACR Pay Period Summary. This is under the Alternate Contribution Process heading of the Contribution Reporting section in the Navigation menu. If you need to review specifics for any particular submission, click on View Details Report in the furthest right column. The Operations Available column provides a link to review the specifics for each submission. To review ACR reported for a prior fiscal year, click the drop-down arrow next to Select Fiscal Year and click on the year you want to review. Employers may use one bank account for payment of both regular and alternate contributions, or they may set up a separate bank account for each. Click on ACH Account Profiles from the Contribution Reporting section of the left navigation menu to review the accounts currently used for paying contributions to the ASRS. You may edit the current bank account information by clicking Edit in the Bank Account column. If your employer has only set up one account, you may add an account by clicking Add Bank Account. To add an account, follow these steps. Select whether the account will be used for paying alternate or active contributions. You may have multiple accounts set up for each type, but the first account added for either ACR or active contributions will be automatically designated as the default account for that type. Add a description. This field allows you to name the account so that you can identify it. Add the name of the bank which houses this account. Enter the routing number. An image showing you where to find the number is shown beneath the data fields. Enter the account number and then retype it for confirmation. Click Add Bank Account or click Cancel if you do not want to add the account at this time. If you have more than one account set up for either ACR or active contributions, you will see options available for any account that is not a default account. The options are listed under the Action column. You may click Deactivate to deactivate an account or click Make Default to change the default account for that type of contribution reporting to this account. If you deactivate an account, it will remain in the list of bank accounts and can be reactivated in the future by clicking Activate. Thank you for learning about alternate contribution rate reporting with me today. Come back anytime for a refresher and be sure to check out our other video tutorials and PDF guides.